Hey, how does it feel to be named fighter of the games? It's terrific, honestly. Being voted fighter of yeah, the games. Yeah, baby! It's an honor. <laughs> Gold medal, baby! Yeah. Uh, this is my baby brother, my big baby brother, Randy. Hey, big baby bishop, I'm a fighter too, and one day I'm gonna be right where he is now. <laughs> like I was saying, it's a lot of talented boxers out here, and it's an honor hey, just being... Hey, bishop brothers are in the house, big baby bishop, what? It was a fabulous tournament. Truly exciting to watch. But even more exciting, McQueen Promotions is pleased to announce that we've just added Isaac Frost to our roster of boxing talent. Isaac, are you disappointed that Andre Bishop won Fighter of the Games? Disappointed? <laughs> I'm the heavyweight gold medalist. No one went the distance with me. Nobody here could ever go the distance with me. I am the best fighter at these games. Period. Andre Bishop is a talented middleweight, but I, I think uh, Isaac makes a good point. Regardless, both these young men could have very bright futures in professional boxing. Oh, we've got a little sparring session now. So we saw some of the characters uh, knocked down before the end of the round. Okay. Bit harsh, isn't it? Just sparring partner. What? There's no health meter, though, so I don't know how I'm doing. Yeah, we saw some of the characters that, uh, that will be seen throughout the uh, series. Where main uh, rival. Boxer and his um, promoter, I guess, would be the word. Can't remember any of the names and I can't hear them either at the minute, so bear with me until I figure something out. Uh, I think that was our brother as well that was had his face all up in the camera. Pretty sure it was from what I can remember. Obviously, we've met our trainer. Well, but I think our rivals enter. Once we knock down this guy here in this sparring session. There's no... There's no meter to, to let me know that he's close. So I don't know how we know that we're doing this. I think maybe it just gets super easy towards the end of the round. Just give me that left uppercut. There we go. As we know from previous, that left uppercut is my go-to punch on this game. You okay? Beautiful kid. You got your father's power. He certainly does. His father hit like a heavyweight too. <laughs> Gus, despite our differences, I've always said you're one of the best trainers in the business. I don't care what you say about me, Queen. Always nice to see you, Megan. Always nice to see you too, Gus. I'm bringing my daughter into the business. You know how good she is with fighters. I want her to manage Andre. You're a great trainer. Why not concentrate on what you do best and let Megan and I concentrate on Andre's career? Thanks, but I think I can handle it. Isaac Frost will be fighting for a title within two years. I can do that for you too. Thanks, but I can handle it. Did this old man ever get your father a title shot? He was on his way! The only way to the title is through me! Not if nobody can beat me. Oh, you think so? You don't know who you're fucking with. Dad! You've been listening to this stupid old man! Dad! You don't know who you're fucking with! I apologize. Now you have no reason to apologize. But your father, on the other hand, he chews fighters up and he spits them out. Gus, if we just... Megan, you're a good egg. But no way are we getting in bed with D.L. McQueen. I respect your decision. Lucius Palmer likes to run, but he'll get aggressive at the end of each round. He's good at stealing fights. Good luck, huh? Thanks, Megan. She's right about Palmer. She's a smart girl, that Megan. So, 
So, Megan tried helping us here. Don't let Palmer waste time, cut off the ring and wear him out. She'll give us some tips. Try and beat Palmer. Said he comes out in the later rounds. Oh, in the later part of the round, I should say. Palmer's hoping that his strategy of utilizing his jab pays off. How can it do he'll so defend, okay? defend, defend. Oh, it's going to bring a lot of things. First like the last defense, minute and a half, I think he'll come. He's keep his opponent at a distance where he can't he'll harm him. to try and get and us. If you're a fighter and a guy can't harm you, guess what? That's a good thing. The other thing is to set up his other punches. Should have backed him up onto the ropes and pushed him a bit there. Good block by Palmer. Wait, he'll start coming out of us now, I reckon. Is this the type of stylistic matchup to yeah, go look. stamina guy against the power kill. puncher that many would describe as oh, that's a little dangerous for the big favorite for the big power puncher. That can be a trap. Yeah, it can be a trap because anytime you have a guy with high endurance, so only four rounds in this one. He's fit. That means he probably has a good Andres. chin if he's been rounds before. Is he his first professional fight? Might not be enough. I think it is. Nice. So McQueen. Took on Frost, wanted to take on Andre. Andre said no. There's a bit of kerfuffle. And uh, McQueen, because he's basically going to make Andre's professional career difficult. So the only way to the championship is through him. Now remember, I've got this on champion difficulty, which is the second top right difficulty. There, and as I said last week, if we struggle, we will be lowering that difficulty just so we can get through it. But we'll see. Because I think if you lose, you just replay the level, basically. Alright, that was good. I still can't hear the game, by the way, either. I have a monitor that I'm using. It doesn't have headphones. So that makes it difficult. It makes it difficult. But I can still get through it, I reckon. I think he has to settle down a little bit, though, as the rounds go on. I want to skip these bits just because. He didn't really as give us much two, insight into the story. He sort of tell you if you're winning or not. I can't hear, so it makes no difference, actually, to me. To, steal the round, not working all three to listen. Or to try and listen. Not Is this about on the pause the menu as well? Try to trap Palmer against the ropes and attack the body to slow him down. There you go. First of all, I would say to him, what do you think that he's going to make a That was Megan's you? advice. If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. So, we got a game trapped if we can. Bishop's not nice. just loading up. Uppercuts he's there from Andre. Punches like he did um. right there. Halfway through round number two. Can't get in. Not throwing anything, is he? Look, look at him just defending. Come on, Palmer. Ooh, he's clinching. See, he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Oh, here he comes. Come on, then, Palmer. Let's have a fight. Goes up top with a right hand. Shake it off. Should win on decision, right? I don't think I will knock him out. And you Ooh. see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Boy, sharp two punch combination. Again, they don't have a health bar, so I don't you don't know exactly how you're doing. I think later on it does start introducing health bars. But you can I'm not sure. I can't really remember. This fight right now, to his head yeah, you know, it makes me think about that legendary story about the old. It's this point where he tells you if you're winning or not. If we listen in, but I can't listen. So actually won a round without we'll let him do the first little bit of speech, and then we'll uh, continue on with the fight. More for you guys, really. Ring girls, are they still a thing? They got rid of them in most sports. That 
was a good round. We got it. You won that round. All right. You got your range. You got to work. Work your range, okay? All right, let's go into round three. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round. What has Perfect. Been uh, a very even now. fight. And now just wasting him. everybody's time holding on. Here we go. Bishop's combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landing. Don't want to waste my stamina. And he's just he's not engaging again. in the fight. He clinches again. I always throw two punches. I don't mean to do it. It's with the analog. I don't know if anyone else has played this game, and if they do that, let me know in the comments. I accidentally always end up throwing two punches. Ooh, got me there. Caught me. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Finish with the hook. Keep, keep your hand moving. Um. Come on, swinging in a second. Andre Bishop has always had a very defensive approach, isn't it, from Palmer? For that uppercut and then Andre Bishop. I guess it's uh, a way of making the first right level kind of easy for you, I guess. Don't knock him out. I don't know if you can. Palmer's got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good Come on, Palmer. Oh, I'm wasting all my stamina. Great work offensively landing that combination. By Surely, yeah, uh, our trainer should know how this fighter fights. So why do we have to like get tips off Megan? Bishop's nailed by a hook. Seems a bit strange. It has been a very consistent night by Andre Bishop. He has built up a lead on the scorecards and nothing but good praise coming from trainer Gus Carissi. And he has such a cushion. Don't be shocked. It happens in this business. Believe me. If his trainer doesn't tell him, you know what? Oh, we cut him. Look. Him He's got a little cut under his eyes. But work on things. Carry him a little bit. Get some That's good. Promising. They aren't doing anything to it, though. He's a little team. All right, three minutes. It's been that kind of night for Andre Bishop. Sure, isn't it four rounds? Works one more round to keep it that way. And as a trainer, you might remind him of that movie if he watches The Gambler. You know where the guy thought that he went to bed and all his teams were winning at halftime. Back, back game into the corner. And he said, "What are you doing?" And the guy said, "Charlie, maybe no one told you we don't pay off at halftime. This fight's not over. Keep your concentration." Oh, that was nice he little duck there. One right back after taking one. Gotta love the word by Andre Bishop. Body loads. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Good work on the combination by Palmer. Andre A lot Bishop of body points. Basics landing that right hand. In this one. Well, that is the tactic, Palmer's as we've seen. His opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches. But he's able to block them away. Come on, Mr. Bishop. Oh, there's blood all over his shorts. Look at that. Just a minute and a half left in the fight. I still think this game looks pretty good, you know. For being nearly a decade old. Graphics hold up pretty well. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Good block there by Palmer. Going trapped again. That's where we want him. Oh, my stamina's completed out. Getting a bit carried away there. <laughs> he's slowing down a little bit. And you got to wonder if it's a little mental too. He got a little discouraged that his opponent is still there. I try to clinch then. I just dodged out of the way. Very accurate two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Palmer's right hand scores well. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Nice. That cuts opening it up on his face. See Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one-two. Boom, boom. Nice. 
There we go. This should be a win for us, right? Blood streaking down his face. Look at that. There you go. Andre Bishop. First win. Easy peasy. It gets harder from here, though. Thank you very much for watching this video here on Welcome to Gaming. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like if you have enjoyed, and you can watch the rest of the series here, or the latest upload here.